Hello, and welcome to another episode of Thrasher Opera House Presents. I'm Riley, and I'm here in the back of Thrasher Opera House's offices with Rachel Avery, our executive director. Hi, Rachel. Hey, Riley. How's it going? Just great, thanks. I like how you described the studio as the back of Thrasher Opera House offices. It's way cooler than that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's squirreled away back where no one knows. Yeah. Well, now they do. Right. You've announced it. That's right. Now the world knows where to look. It's the Thrasher Opera House studio. It is. Um, And actually, when I interviewed Willie Porter, which we'll hear about later, the first thing he said when we came on screen on Zoom was, wait, where are you? Are you at Thrasher? I thought it was a really cool looking space. I mean, because it is. Well, it is a cool looking space. So you got all the tech stuff, all the... Right. It's like a... A studio. Like a, a vintage <laughs> audio store, kind of. A vintage audio flea market. Yeah. Okay. We're speaking into the 1970s. Oh. It's got a good sound to it. They do. I think it's the Transformers. I don't think they wind them the same way anymore. I think that's... You could say that about a lot of things. They just don't make it the same way anymore. <laughs> Microphones, refrigerators, they're just not made to last right. these days. Anyway, we're not here to talk about refrigerators or the 1970s. We're here to talk about our upcoming show, Willie Porter. You're right. And you just spoke with Willie earlier this week. I did. How did that go? It was awesome. You know, talking to Willie Porter is like talking to an old friend, even though I've only met him three times, two times. He's just got that personality where he's easy to talk to. And um, he comes across that way on stage, too, which is an awesome part of his show. He does project calm, doesn't he? Oh, my God. So much calm. (laughs) Enough calm for 200 people in the audience. (laughs) It's kind of remarkable. Um, But that's not to say his show is calm, you know, or his playing is calm, because that guy's fingers move so fast on the guitar. Um, His playing is just incredible. The intensity is very well focused. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. Should we just jump right into the interview so folks can hear about what what to expect at the show and who he's bringing with him? Because he always brings somebody different with him every single time. Sure. Here's the interview. Hey, folks. I'm here today with Willie Porter, who will be coming to Thrasher Opera House on February 12th, Saturday, February 12th. Um, hey, Willie. We're excited hey. you're coming back. Thank you so much, Rachel. Rachel, I'm really looking forward to it. It's so we've we've had you annually, uh, same weekend for 15 years. This will be the 16th one. That's incredible. I'm so grateful for that. I know it's <laughs> so fun to come back. You know, we would be on 17, but the pandemic, you know, ruined it a little bit. But we just won't count that. We'll be grateful for 16. I'll take 16. Yeah, works for me. <laughs> um, so today, I, you know, even though we missed you last year, I want to talk to you a little bit about what you've been busy doing during that time, and then also talk to you about what we can look forward to um, on at the show. So you've been doing this thing called Live from the Bunker, which I think is really cool, and I've tuned into several of them. Um, why did you, what is it? Why'd you start it? And why are you still doing it? Well, I started it because I realized that I had a facility that I could actually utilize and sort of reimagine um, my home studio. And I had a very talented photographer in my son, Liam. Oh. And so he and I looked at it and we just said, let's divide up the labor here. I'll be the audio tech. You be the video guy. And that set us on this, you know, trail of just trying to refine, trying to improve, you know, and, and work on a project together. We were both, you know, I was off the road and because of COVID and so forth, and he was home uh, doing school from home. So it was a great opportunity. And I'm just glad that we both jumped on it. And it's just been really fun. I've really enjoyed doing those. So. so- Tell everybody who's listening what they are. They're live stream concerts um, from my home studio on Facebook. 
um, at my Willie Porter Facebook page, which is at Willie Porter Music. And so they started happening every Saturday when COVID kicked in. And I think I'm up to have done a, I've done 60 something shows with all of the other streaming things I did. I did well over 75 wow. um, concerts in the last couple of years. So just super fun to do. You don't really get to see the audience, um, but you can control the intention behind the music, which is really, um, it's just a great way to approach it. Um, I, had a lot of I fun. Think it's, I think it's so cool how musicians got creative and created these spaces online when we couldn't be in person um, to connect everybody. It was a really important thing we were all missing. And how super special for you to be able to do that with your son. Um, that's an opportunity you wouldn't have had otherwise. Absolutely. And, and the great part of it was that, you know, I went through my whole catalog of music, every recorded album and played, played them in their entirety. And, you know, he realized it's, well, two things, you know, to see somebody have to go back and relearn a lot of material and dig into it every week was a real hustle for me in a lot of, <laughs> especially during those, those particular shows. And I think, um, he really saw a different side of how I prepare for what I do and, and that whole process. But also I learned an immense amount from him because, you know, he would say things like, dad, the show was great. You played great guitar, but maybe just don't, don't talk so much, <laughs> <laughs> which I just loved, you know, when you have a 17 year old kid, they're going to be pretty honest with you. you know? <laughs> oh, well, I, I guess I, for one, like it when you talk during your shows. So, well, thank you so much, Rachel. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't take it. I wasn't offended by that. I think it was very constructive on his part because, um, <laughs> You know, he's seeing it through a different lens. So if anyone wants to tune into those, you are still doing them. You're doing one this Saturday. Um, That's correct. Yeah. Tomorrow night, which is Saturday, the 29th. Is that, I guess? Yeah, it is. And then do you know when the next one after that is? Because I'm realizing now as I'm saying this, this probably yeah. won't be published in order for people to hear it tomorrow night. Yeah, I will so know. Sure and just know I do. I have another one coming up. And let's see here. Yeah, the weekend following our show with you on February 19th. Okay. And um, yeah, that should cool. be fun. So it's a cool way for your fans to keep in touch with you and keep up to date and what you're creating and doing. And um, But the cool thing now is that they can also catch you in person in venues live, yes, yes. Um, which is what we're here to talk about. Um, one of the cool things you've done at your shows at Thrasher is, you know, you've been here 16 times, but no show has ever been alike. There's no two shows um, that are the same. And one of the reasons is you come with a different configuration. You're with your band. You've brought Carmen as a duet. Um, and then you also bring special guests with you. Um, mm -hmm. which you are, are doing this time. So can you tell us a little bit about who's coming with you uh, on February 12th? Sure. My friends, Kate and Jason, who are extraordinary musicians, um, they're called Sunday and Mr. Gessel. And um, Jason is just a world-class guitar player um, across so many different formats from sort of Tuck Andrus jazz um, and comping and he plays bass lines, rhythm parts and the melody at the same time, which is something I just marvel at. And he's not taxed by it. It's very fluid. And Kate is hilarious. She's just, <laughs> and she plays melodica, she sings, they write great songs. So it's everything from sort of forties swing, um, and their take on, on those classic songs, you know, classic jazz, all the way through to really contemporary stuff. That's, it's just amazing. So I'm super excited to have them along. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, I think that's the, the added benefit that the Willie Porter audience gets at the Thrasher shows. Um, you know, you get to see Willie Porter who everybody loves and that's why we're there, but then you get to discover a new artist and, 
artist discovery has been one of my favorite parts of my job here at Thrasher. Um, you know, discovering new genres, the way artists blend genres has been really cool. Um, so it's really, really awesome that you bring people to us and to our audience and expose our audience to these um, really, really talented people that they might not otherwise get to see. So um, mm. we were talking earlier about Luke Jackson. He was, uh. he was here with you the last time and just like blew everybody away. Um, and we hope to bring him back to the opera house. So thank you for doing that, not just for Thrasher and the audience members, but for those artists too. Oh, thank you, Rachel. I really get a charge out of it. And I, so many people have done that with me. You know, I got dragged along. You're you know, passing Tori it on. Amos, yeah, I mean, Tori Amos dragged me along all through Europe. And, you know. I'm sure it was awful. Just dragged It was you. just horrid. Yeah, it was just <laughs> dreadful. <laughs> no, so, you know, I look at I've I've had the good fortune of um, being included. And music is not a competition. It's all about a celebration of expression and humanity. And so when you realize that, it's like, well, Luke is all the way from Kent in the UK. And when he comes over here, he's, he's fast becoming a treasure to that country and um, in the folk community. And, and so, you know, it's just really great to take these diamonds and have the chance to show them to people because their careers could go through the roof and yeah. it would just be fun to witness. Yeah. You know? So super cool. So what, what else can the audience look forward to on Saturday? A lot of new tunes. Um, oh. We're right in the middle of finishing this new record. And so I will have a quartet with Carmen, um, Eric Madunik on bass, my longtime drummer collaborator, Dave Shepke, um, and that's going to be, it'll be our quartet. So it should be really fun. Wait, your quartet is coming to the opera house? Yes. I didn't know that yes. until right now. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't be. That's a really exciting thing that yeah. we can, you know, just, uh, just announced on the podcast. <laughs> really bring <in> the quartet. <laughs> yeah. I really wanted to bring a, an ensemble of some kind. I've, I've played, I think over 16 years, I've probably done five or six solo shows there, but I've always you know, my dream is to have a band. I've always, I love playing solo, but the the interaction well, is so yeah. Much and you've more played valuable. solo for the past two years, basically. Yeah. So take yeah, advantage little, of it. I'm a little sick of myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not sick of you. And um, the Nothing. other thing I wanted to touch on and make sure everybody knows is that when you come to a Willie Porter show, you, you're getting great music, of course, but you're also getting this sort of Zen-like experience in, in the way you come across on stage and just the, you know, and in a small venue like Thrasher, you really have that intimate experience of, um, you leave feeling just lighter. I think that's what I've, the last mm. couple shows that I've been at of yours, I just left feeling really good. Like you have this way of making the audience feel lighter when they walk out of there. And we, we all need that these days for sure. Um, well, what, so what's, you. what's your secret? How do you, how do you remain <laughs> such a calm presence? And <laughs> so oh, wow. Well, I can't really manage how the broadcast is received. And I've, you know, I think um, accepting that is a big part of being more present as a musician when you play music. It's like, how much can you get into the interior of this song and, you know, create a space within when within which this song can exist. So there are so many variables and we could have a much longer discussion about it, but how do you control the variables that make you feel like this is sort of a, you know, sacred's a bit of a heavy word, but I treat the music and the audience very, um, with great respect yeah. and by doing that, all of a sudden, I get myself out of the way. It sort of takes me and takes my ego and puts that somewhere that I, you know, have a better chance at fighting against it, if you will. So, and the whole band has that same mentality. We, we usually bump fists and say, trust is the only option. Meaning if you make a mistake, that doesn't matter. I know how hard you're trying. 
you know? So that sort of collectivism and that sort of spirit is what we're trying to, to put out there. And also just the idea that more is possible for all of us. Well, I can tell you that it's, it's working. That really comes across in, in every show I've seen you do. Um, and so thanks in advance for making us all feel good. on Saturday. Oh, you're well. so kind. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> um, so for anyone out there who's looking for a ticket, uh, you can get it on thrasheroperahouse.com. It's Saturday, February 12th. Doors open at 6.45 and the show starts at 7.30. We're really looking forward to it, Willie. I can't wait. I love that room. It sounds so good. And Riley does such a great job. So oh, man. thank you He's all. He all right. really is. <laughs> all right. We'll see you then. Thanks so much, Rachel. Take care. Well, Rachel, that was a great interview. It was really easy to listen to. He makes it easy. What's coming up after Willie Porter? Well, we've got a lot of February goodness. We've got Pokey Lafarge coming up on February 18th. Pokey's got a unique name, he's got a unique look, and he's got a unique sound. And I think it's going to play really well on the Thrasher stage. The tickets are already selling well. Uh, People know him. So we're excited to have him. And even a unique looking stage set. So Well, you would know that. When you come here, you'll see something that looks a little bit out of the ordinary. Oh, that's exciting. Cool. All right, well... Until next time, eh? Eh?